Morning, everybody. Chad, at the farms. It's a wee bit windy today. I don't know. I don't know if that's coming off on camera yet, because I'll I'll do a pretty good job of cupping my microphone, try and block it for you guys. But it's 54 degrees. It's the day before Thanksgiving, and the wind is blowing. And it's blowing in a cold front. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. No snow, no precipitation, nothing like that. Just cold. What's up, Smokey? What's up, dog? What's up, dog? She likes those. I'll link them down below. They're for her joints. And I will say, I have noticed a difference for the better. So I'm pretty excited. I've noticed a difference. I've noticed. Okay, let me come in there so we can really wrestle. I have noticed a difference. There's your goats. But anyway, even though it's 54 degrees, this isn't comfortable weather. I feel like I'm yelling, but it's really loud out here. So, I take it easy. But I'm safe. I mean, barring, uh, you know, we, got, we have quite a canopy over us, and I know some of you guys worry about like what they call widow makers. I'm, I'm a bachelor, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that would make me. I don't know what that would make. I don't know what you'd call the limbs. But it's been this windy out here for before, okay? If there was something that was going to fall, it would have already fallen. But Adler is eating breakfast in the house with Grandma. Hopefully some real eggs, not those, not, not those swan's eggs. Whatever. Let's get busy. Oh, if you're new here, welcome and howdy. If you're old here, welcome and howdy. Woo what do you say? Huh? Huh? What do you say? What do you say, dog? What do you say, dog? Hey, hey, take it easy. Look at all those chickens. Wow. That wind is ripping, man. <laughs> she ain't chasing, she's playing. That's too funny. Look out! Watch out! Yeah, I'd say that uh, CBD THC. Oh goodness! She went right between my legs. Watch out! Go! 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 Yeah, I'd say she likes those medicine. Calm down, Red. Look out. Hang on. Where'd Gray go? I saw her a second ago. Gray. There she is. Hey, you know what? Look at the center of her chest. Right there. She's got a nest somewhere. See how the center of her feathers are kind of ruffled? When they sit on eggs, am I looking at the right thing? Yep. When they, when they sit on eggs, they spread their chest feathers to keep them warm, like their chest and belly, breast, I should say. So she's got a nest somewhere, but it's not right there. It, it's a huge clutch, I guarantee. She's gonna come out of the woods with some baby chicks one of these days. And there's the baby chicks. Uh-oh. Rumble in the jungle. Rumble in the jungle, Batman. p -Dub, what's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? What's up? Huh? Such a good little goat. p -Dub, you're a good goat, too. You're just good at making it weird, aren't you? Just good at making it weird. How about me? All right, here's the deal. Hang on. A couple things have fallen into my lap this week that have made me busier than I planned. Good busy, not bad busy. Nobody's, nobody's ill, nobody's in bad shape, nothing like that. But Red has a pardon, at least for Thanksgiving. 
And I do have another turkey, a grass-fed, naturally raised bird that is thawing at home. So that's our second turkey. And that's just for the boys and I. We already ate that other one. Now, the other one from Butcher Box, that was only like, uh, I don't know, 14, 14, 15 pounds. It wasn't like a huge, you know, it wasn't no huge bird, but neither's red. She won't be either. You know, those commercial birds you find at the stores for 30 bucks that weigh 30 pounds, that's not normal. What do you say, dude? What do you say, Bubba? Huh? What do you say? What do you say, buddy? Woo, look at you stretching out. You're gonna get some good jeans. My goodness, you're gorgeous. You are gorgeous, man. Let's get you some food. How you doing? There we go. Woo -wee. Chow time. Good pigs. Good pigs. I have not expanded their pen yet. Like I said, I've been busy. Here, what's you, are you hungry? Sure is, look at that. She got a nest somewhere. She never runs to feed. I'd say she's been sitting on them for a while. She's been sitting on them a while and she just got hungry. Let's spin around here so you guys can see Han. So, I've not expanded their pen because like I said, a couple things fell into my lap and I've been really busy. Busier than normal for a guy that makes YouTube videos. <laughs> but anyway, they will move. My other angle with Han is normally when you put a male with two females, it takes about 30 to 45 days for them to actually seal the deal, okay? I'm really trying to push piglets born after the Oki Homesteading Expo which is the weekend of the 19th in March, 2022. If you don't have your tickets, link down below. I don't want piglets before that. And for pigs, it's three months, three weeks, and three days. So we're getting close, but we're only getting close if it takes Han 30 days to get the deal done. It could take him one day, okay? Uh, our last boar, Hoss, our American guinea hog, it took him, and my math is correct on this, it took him almost 30 days to court Lola the second time, and that was his second litter with Lola. So they'd already done the deal once before. They'd already both been mama and papa pig. So it took him 30 days to get it done a second time. And I know that has to do with heat cycles, and I know. I know there's a lot of variables. But my window right now, if old buddy can do the deed, is like two weeks. So I'd really like to wait a little bit. I know I keep talking about it and amping it up, but for the safety of the animals, the temperature of what it's gonna be around that time when they're born, I'm just doing it right. So, it will happen. If you want a piglet, once they're pregnant, and I say if you want a piglet, they'll sell out like the next day. So if you want a piglet, I would imagine I'll probably have at least 12 if you want a piglet, you need to email me, okay? Don't message me any other way. I won't see it. We'll talk about prices and all that via email. I'm not gonna get into it on this channel in the video because this is not, this is not a pig farm. I'm not selling registered IPPs. I ain't gonna charge anybody three, four, 500 bucks for an IPP, okay? It ain't gonna be like that, so just reach out. We'll talk about it. What's up, boys? <laughs> what do you say? Huh? <laughs> Excuse me, man. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> like somebody pointed out, Grandpa's been busy with the tarps, but we're on the same page about this. This is good. Hi, buddy. <laughs> this is good. This is good.
Grandpa. Grandpa Swiss cheesed these feeders. So now they don't hold moisture, which is nice. So that way the boys' feed don't get wet. Come on, Batman. That way their feed doesn't get wet. And this tarp right here gives them a windbreak. And that is north. That is north. Hey, take it easy. Take it easy. She wants her egg. <clears throat> there used to be eggs in here, but they don't lay anymore. I hope they don't, I hope they don't make a fibber out of me. Nope. Checking. This is where the goats nest, or bed down, I should say. Goats don't really nest. Oh, goodness. Let's push this back. I need to, I might need to fix that to that. Whew. Hey, Batman. Batman, you just straight up eclipsed the other two there, brother. Hey, take it easy. She thinks I got an egg because I opened the coop door. I show you all those tarps and all that mess to show you. This is all the goats will need. It don't matter how cold it gets this winter. Those are two Nigerian dwarves. I think he's like a Nigerian Nubian. So he's an auction goat. That's what we call him. And I'd love to get that tag out, but it's in there. He wants it. So, all right, calm down. Take it easy, Nancy. Red. What you say, lady? Merry Christmas. You're not Thanksgiving dinner. Uh-oh. Canadian chickens. They're super confused. They're flying in all directions. They're doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. We're in the world. Man, look at this one right here. I've been waiting to show you this. That is a stunner. What is that? A white one. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Whew. They've got feed. Let's go in here and take a look, just so you guys can see them. I know you guys like seeing the colors. All of these birds came from Meyer Hatchery. We are friends of theirs. We have worked with them in the past. Pretty slick. Pretty slick. You hungry, bro? Are you hungry? Don't back talk. Don't back talk. Hey, do you know people don't think I feed you because we don't show it? Did you know that? Tell them. Tell them. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Say, I get fed. I get fed. Bro. Bro. They're all good. They got this nice little coop. It's perfect for the amount there is. They can also nest and roost over there in that one. And again, this is north. If they want to get in there, they can roost. If they don't want to get in there, they can jump up there. And they can make it. I know they can make it up here because there's poop on the one below. So it's pretty slick. Pretty excited. There's two roosters in here. Not exactly sure who's who yet. But we will see. We will see. Ain't no Thanksgiving miracles yet, are there? Nope. <laughs> Just figured I'd check. But they got food. They get more from Grandpa this afternoon. No need to feed. All right. Guess who's up? <clears throat> big chickens. Which means big egg. What do you think about that? Look at that rooster, man. What a show bird. What a show bird. These new hamster reds. That's too funny. There you go. There you go. Don't come out of there. Nope, nope. Hey, dang, dang, gummit. Woo. I peed a little. Don't do that. So violent. Of course, I guess if somebody opened the stall door on me, I'd come out screaming too. Hang on, Smoke. Let's show them where you eat so everybody thinks you're not starving. I mean, clearly, you're like a 100-pound like dog. 
you don't get there just eating an egg a day. So, let's go show them. Let's show them your humble abode. Let's show them. This is Casa de Smokey. House of Smoke. There you go, lady. See, even when you put it in there, she takes it out. But that's a $200 contractor grade rough cut cedar doghouse. That's plenty big. She barely uses it. Last year, you know, for about a week around the country, it was an Arctic blast. And Smokey, I'm talking negative 13, negative 14 degrees. Even when she was only last year, she would have been, I think she was born June, let's see, June 24th. So last year in February, I say last year, really last season. In February of 21, Smokey was born in June of 20. Eight months old. So last year when the Arctic blast came through, Smokey was eight months old. And she wouldn't go in her doghouse. Snowing, wouldn't go in her doghouse. Raining, wouldn't go in her doghouse. Wind blowing, wouldn't go in her doghouse. She's just... <laughs> That's how she rolls, man. She just she ain't scared of nothing. She ain't cold. She thrives in this weather. I think that's honestly why her joints are feeling better even. Anything 50 and below, it's money for her, money spot. But she does have a really nice dog house courtesy of grandma and grandpa when we first moved here. And it's awesome. It's it's really nice. Let's see. There's no limp. Watch. Come here. That a girl. Look at you. Look at you, you pretty dog. Oh, hang on. Hey, what are you doing? You all right? You should have got, you should have got a drink of water. You should have got a drink of water. What do you think, lady? Oh, man. There we go. Come here. What you do? I'm trying to get a selfie. Nope, nope, nope. That's a pistol. Come here. Yes, I carry. All day, every day, everywhere. Oh my goodness. Big dog. Big dog. Okay. Let's just take a pretty picture. Smokey and Daddy. Mwah. I gotta go, okay? Grandpa will be out here later? Yep. Go take a nap. It's nap time. A couple things real quick while I pass this spot. I did a lot of trapping last year. That's a bale of wire, old bale. I did a lot of trapping last year. <clears throat> and uh, I got some coyotes and some foxes, a pair of foxes on camera. So I've got a couple traps right there. If you guys wanna see some of that, let me know. It'll be on the shorts channel. I call it Adler Farms After Hours. So I won't show it here. That way, if you don't want to see it, you won't. So anyway, all right. So some of you guys were really mad. See you later. She's gonna go to sleep. She's been up all night. So some of you guys were really mad because my title in my last video didn't match my thumbnail. I know some of y'all think we as creators do that to be mean or to trick or whatever, but actually, just so you know, the other day she ran up and like slammed into the fence when we were coming over here. Like she just, just barreled into it when Adler and I were, when I was carrying Adler, I did not have the camera running, but I paused, I turned the camera on and I said, who taught you to do that? And I got to thinking, maybe she picked up on that when someone visited. If you, did, if you didn't know, we had a couple trespassers. Somebody, well, I don't want to get into all that again. But nonetheless, I've never seen Smokey do that. I, I don't think somebody taught her to do it. I think it was a learned response from someone being here. I don't know. I haven't quite figured it out. In my editing, okay, remember, when I edit, it's just quick, fast, and in a hurry. I know it looks like a Hollywood production. 
can see what I did there. I know it looks like a Hollywood production, but I just edit. And that little thing came out and you know when Adler said, some of y'all remember this, in the last video when he said, I have an idea, I took out the part that he had an idea. Now he says that about everything right now. He has an idea he's gonna brush his teeth. He has an idea he's gonna go to bed. He has an idea he's not gonna go to bed. Everything's his idea. It's pretty cool, it's pretty funny. That's where that thumbnail and title came from. Don't come at me with the titles and the this, the that. Chad, you're trying to trick us. And I'm not gonna watch your channel. See you later. Bye, Vamanos. Quit it. Pick any movie that you've seen in the last 40 years. Tell me the title and tell me if that has anything to do with the movie. Seriously, think about it. That's how it is, guys. That's what, that's, that's what it is. And in the thumbnail, Smokey's leaning against the fence. So technically, you're the problem. Anyway, I'm gonna go hang out with my Harry Coos. What's up, lady? Hey, <laughs> what is your huge? Let's see, how big is this bucket? Hang on. 17 gallon bucket. Look at this. You tell me that ain't the biggest pig you've ever seen in your life. My goodness. That's 17 gallons. That's three five gallon buckets. Check the fence lines. I'll tell you why, I was being quiet here in a minute. <clears throat> in case you haven't figured it out. Question, bale buggies, are they legit? Would they work? This is a 1,500 pound bale. And I know that, because the guy I bought them from does 500 bales a year, I become pretty decent friends with him. I'll always have hay, I'm very appreciative. He drops it off, it costs me a little extra. But for somebody that doesn't have a loader and basically uses his field for his bovine, this is, this is I mean, well worth it, but anyway, anyway. We gotta figure out a way to move these. I don't wanna buy a tractor. Dad doesn't wanna upgrade his tractor because it doesn't make sense. If I were to buy land here in two months, dad is probably gonna send his, I don't know. He may send his bovine to my farm. I'm not sure, but either way, he won't need eight round bales and he won't need bales this big. So I've seen a lot of different bale buggies do they work? Will they work in this instance? What's the easiest way to move this? Because those round bales I moved last year, about a thousand pounds. These are huge, like ginormous. They're as tall as I am. They're six feet tall. Yeah, that's that's not, I'm not playing with you, okay? I'm six four, give or take, what season? <laughs> that has nothing to do with the other. I just thought it was funny. 
But see, I'm a little bit taller than these bales. These are six by fives. They're huge bales. Tell me what you know about bale buggies. Are they worth it? Is it cheaper to buy a truck with a bed on it? A spike? Tell me, just tell me what you know. Y'all look guilty as guilty as can be. Poor Fred. The reason I was whispering a second ago, and I'm, I'm several hundred feet, actually, I might almost be a thousand feet from where that Jeep was. Our neighbor that way hunts, there's 20 acres right there and he hunts it. And I, I didn't realize it when I ripped off on a four wheeler. I thought he was back there this morning. It's a little too windy to hunt. I know sometimes that can be used to your advantage, but not here. They're already bedded down. The wind around here with the deer, it confuses them. They don't know what's a predator and what's not, so they don't move. I mean, we're talking 40 mile an hour winds. They ain't moving. He's also archery. He's also using a bow. That's a, he ain't shooting anything this morning. Nope. And if there's any of you out there that are like, I took a doe at 45 yards in a 60 mile an hour wind. Backwards, blindfolded, one arm tied behind my back. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Unless you're like Tim Wells or something. No, you didn't. And if you did, that wasn't an ethical shot in that kind of wind. Shame on you. Y'all the biggest bunch of misfits I've ever seen in my life. I think it's what we're gonna call them until the beefy boys leave. Y'all are the misfits. How about that? Huh? How about that? Watch out. Hoop, hoop. What's that, buddy? Yeah, move around. So he just follows the bucket. Hey, girls. Let's try this. Come here. Let's go, puppy. Now Fred will walk right under this wire because it's not hot and he knows it. It's kind of funny. What's up, buddy? Okay, you want a bowl? This is hot. Hang on. Hey, it got me. It got me, Fredo. It got me. Here. Here. I'll set you up. Here. There we go. Woo-wee. So cool. So she found the cubes. That's good. Hey, hey. Here we go. Hey, buddy. You looking for some of these? Is that what you're looking for? Oh, yeah. That's what we like. That's what we like. Good job, buddy. this <laughs> he's like I don't know where your hands have been man man you're good looking they got a little snot easy bruiser if she comes around here I'll give her some but I don't know if she'll walk under there or not. I poured those cubes on the ground right there. Didn't have the camera running. I don't think the beefy boys saw it though. You're all right. You're all right. Yeah, I know. I know. Yep. <laughs> that didn't take long. Uh-oh. Look out. They're all right. The bull, and my goodness, probably half the cows 
that we're at the farm where June and Tessie came from. Make these guys look like munchkins. Yep. Not necessarily in height, but weight. <laughs> yeah. You guys be punching out of your league big time. Nothing to worry about. Speaking of Tina, you got to throw down all that or what, man? He's just kind of a turd. They're not even eating. He just wants to make sure they're not eating something he wants. But nature of it, days are numbered. And I finally looked up and saw his brother's got something, so he's going to come over here. I don't think he'll push his brother. See, I'm big, so much bigger his brother is on the right. Brisket. Brisket's a lot thicker. Thicker than a snicker. Who started the snotty nose stuff? Huh? Who started it? Where'd it come from? One of y'all got it. Maybe they brought it with them. I don't think Fred brought it with him. But I've been told, just like with humans, hi buddy. I don't have any more cubes, I'm sorry. Hi buddy. I've been told just like with humans, green discharge is what's dangerous. White, that's allergies. It's allergies, maybe a little cough, but I'll get him some probios. I don't have a shoot or anything for him. I'll get him some probios and put it on his feed. I'll put it on everybody's food. I'm sure they make some they put in the water. Here, buddy. Is that easier like that? I think it is. You got all your stuff, buddy. You got all your stuff now. You're good. Look. Look at you. Look at you. You're so cute. You're so cute. Are you going to push me? Are you going to push me? So, there we go. Hi, buddy. He may come up and... He may come up and toss me over this rope here in a second, but... Petting him, touching him, rubbing his head. These are like signs of affection, okay? He doesn't know... He doesn't know that he can level me, okay? He's not... He's not doing that to prove a point. But if you're new here, last week, this guy right here with the big horns, he and I had a cuddle sesh. And I ain't never been Little Spoon, but I was, I was Little Spoon. But I grabbed their horns. I bottle raised those guys six weeks, three times a day. $80 bag of colostrum a month um, for two of them. So several hundred dollars but anyway we've all done it it's a farming thing you got to do it you got to go through it it was worth it but i pushed on those guys heads i grabbed their horns i bump into them i have no doubt now if they step on my foot it's gonna hurt for a long time so it might hurt once because then my foot's gonna be gone it's like a it's like it builds a bonding relationship with them and if you don't want to do that with your cattle that's fine. If you don't want to mess with your cattle's horns, that's fine, okay? But this is my farm. These are my cattle. And to be honest, as much as you guys like any bovine on my farm, if one of them was dangerous or harmful or just really tried to get me every time I got in there, I'd get rid of it. I'd sell it to somebody who had better fencing or a chute because I can't care for an animal like that. I've got to have more docile animals, which is a big reason I went with the Highlanders. It's pretty awesome. I stink and love them. And I am going to get two more by before 2022. When the beefy boys leave, I'll iron out the details on the next two coming to the farm. That jugger. What you think? What you think? No visitors lately? No visitors? Did you run them off? Say, hey, get off of my farm. She gonna go sleep. The girls are gonna eat. Girls. And the boys are gonna eat. Uh-oh. Moving in on Fred's stash. So he's moving away. <clears throat> but he's not the turd. He is. So I don't think Fred's is bothered by him. And look at Tessie. 
What a good looking heifer. Look how straight that back is. My goodness. Yes, I can tell them apart. So, there's my bull. <laughs> Could have named him Eeyore, man. Gee <laughs> whiz, dude. Like I said, he's got two speeds on and off. There's no high or low or no hurry. Nothing like that. And he's a yellow. He's so pretty. He's so pretty. Can I mess with your horns? Can I mess with your horns? Does that feel good? A little scratching? A little scratching? Yeah. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Start courting. You're not going to be ready for like well, a long time. But get it, get it. June, we're going to be buddies eventually, okay? It's happening. Let's see what Tessie does. These Highlanders, man, I'm telling you, they knew they came from a bigger farm. And the beefy boys do not intimidate them. But they are not intimidated. All right. Let's go see. And by the way, I... I don't know if you guys can hear the saws and the engines in the background this whole video. I don't know. Like I said, my neighbor's putting in a pool. Another guy's, another neighbor's trimming trees. I don't know. But the guy that's building that pool with the excavator, that dude operates in reverse 24 seven. I don't, I, his truck must, his rig must be stuck in reverse. And by the way, a little comment on Smokey. I got to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. You know, we can't make these videos for free. And I can't buy Highlanders without you guys. I can't buy more Highlanders without you guys. I can't buy a farm without you guys. So to my Adler Farms family, which includes any platform you're watching this on, I'm sincerely and forever grateful for all that you guys do for us and all that you watch. If you're a member, fantastic. If you're not, fantastic. You mean the exact same to me. If you can't afford a membership, don't worry, you're not missing out on anything. You just see stuff maybe 24 hours later than everybody else. But you're not going to like, you know, pick my farm. Okay. It's not, it's not like a, you're not missing out on anything. Okay. It means the world to me. If you just watch once, it means the world to me. If you watch half a video, it all, it, it, it just, I appreciate it so much. The other day we hit a huge milestone on Facebook. So if you're seeing us on Facebook, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we hit 10,000 followers on Facebook. As a massive milestone. It took me a milestone. It took me a year to get there. Just thank you guys so much. I'm actively looking for a farm. I'm having a whole lot of fun with my farm next to my folks. Go Fred. Look, look, look at old Fred over there throwing the vibe. I just want to say thank you. The reason Smokey brought that to my mind is because I know some of you would love to see her like an actual livestock guardian dog and not side. I mean, this is a two acre pen, but trust me. One of these days, Smokey will roam however much land I have. It's going to happen. With y'all's support, you're coming along with me. I sincerely appreciate it. What are you doing? Boop. Oh, no jumping in the puddle today. It's cold. Get him up here. No, it's, too old. it's too cold. Get him up here. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. All right. What do you think? Purple bug spray. What do you think? Cool. <laughs> It's Thanksgiving. It's like 38 degrees. We made grandpa do the chores this morning. It's cold, isn't it? So y'all be good. Y'all be good. Cool. Don't work too hard. No, I say cool. Don't make it weird. No. No, it's bless cool. Bless cool. Yep. <laughs> bless. Bless. Do 
It's so cold. Deuces. Deuces. Cool. Uh, see you guys.